Hello friends. Last time we have seen the basic features of JSF 2.2. This time we will be further dissecting JSF 2.2 with flow features. So what is flow? Flow is basically navigation of pages from one page to another page. I will further explain it with the help of an example. Suppose you are doing some online shopping. What do you see? First you select a product. Then it further you are navigated to another page which is for the card payment. You make your payments. After that it will ask for your confirmation. That's on another page. So what we are seeing is the flow of pages. From one page you are navigated to another and then further. There are two approaches to it. One is through writing the XML and second is the programmatic. I will cover both the techniques. And we will see with the help of three different scenarios. First is the simple flow that is navigation from one JSF page to another. Then we will further add through a beans feature in it that we will navigate from manage bean feature. And lastly, I will show the nested flow that is flow inside the flow. So let's get started with today's work. We will create a simple web application, name it simple flow. So here's a, our simple page of simple flow. Okay, let's get started with our work. Suppose we take a scenario of booking for a concert of music, we can say Basically, I love music. So, H1. Okay. What we are going to see over here. I am first writing whether to check that this page is in flow or not. For that, pages context, the application means this application page flow handler dot it will tell us whether this page is in current flow or not okay give some br tag over here so let's get started with our registration process for a concert. So let's take one form where we will this page will take us to the form. Okay, name it uh, proceed to booking. Okay, so what we are going to action we will say registration register this page and we are done with it now we will define a folder where we'll we will keep all the pages we want to navigate so name it as registration okay folder name is registration and the first page should be the name followed by our folder name and the page we are navigating to that is the registration so here I will add the title welcome to registration of book. so here we will see one more good feature of JSF 2.2 that is the implicit object using expression language here that is the flow scope is the imp implicit object so we will define h farm for registration welcome okay prepen id false okay here is our uh, full name for registration thing so 
h input text i will say it id give it a full name id and what we can do further i will say its value should be saved with flow scope that is jsf implicit object feature flow flow scope flow scope dot value this will take the value to the next page okay to so give it with a, some br tags over here and we will say that it can travel both way command button id suppose uh, no 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 we will say that you take ids directly we will define value so we have defined the two buttons one is for going further that is for the confirmation next page or going back to the index page from where we have started now we will define another page over here saying it's a confirm page so here is our next jsf page in the same registration folder that is a confirm .xhtml so first of the line of the code i have written that whether this page is in the flow or not next i will take the values which i have saved with the map feature implicit object flow scope so i will say confirm your bookings mr hash i will define a flow scope dot value so this will transfer our values finally i will define navigation with the help of form feature that is command buttons okay so we are done with the two buttons that is one that will take you to the print page that is done and one button for the back to the registration page if any error or if you wrong done the inputs so i will define third page that is done So here is our done dot html page. It simply says in the title, "Take a print of your bookings." Then I will check the flow with the faces context, flow handlers, and I will say, "Thank you, Mister Flow Scope dot dot values. Your seat has been booked." And from further here, we will return back to our index page. For that, I will define one command button saying that it's returning to the index page so here we have defined our command button which says go back to the home page now i will use xml writing xml document name it the folder or the page name that is registration flow.xml and we'll finish it and here we will define the navigation of our pages so this is the location where we can find this faces config xml document schema location and here now i will define our flow definition okay so what's the folder name registration okay now let's say close this and inside flow definition i will start with view what's the starting node it's a registration again okay close it and what's the path say vdl document we say it vdl document what's the path of it it's a registration folder 
and what's the starting page registration dot xhtml here we have defined our now what we have to see from where we are returning back to our flow here we are exiting flow in the registration page that is back to index and in confirm page no we are in the flow whether we go further or whether we go backward so here we don't need a return flow return and lastly we here we exit the flow that is in the done dot xhtml page so here we have to define the two flow return index from where we can exit the flow so the flow return id for the first one is in the registration we will see back to the index it says its id what's back to index id is basically what you defined in the action tag so here you have defined back to index it can be used as a id here so what's to where you are exiting the flow from outcome we will say from outcome slash index we want to exit to the index and lastly there is another flow return okay in this so we will move to done dot xhtml what it says in the action go home it says go home okay from outcome slash so here we go out of index this completes our but what we have defined flow scope so for that we also have to define a bean dot xml as it comes under cdi uh, so here i have defined the bean dot xml a simple and let it say all that it's going to discover with all because here we are not using any annotations okay now we are completed we will go to the web dot xml here we will define a client window there is no need of it i am just doing with a proper approach so i will say it a client window mode client uh, window underscore mode and what it it going to use url this is must for this flow definitions because we are defining in the xml okay vdl document the path so url will help to navigate to it okay done dot xhtml so we are done with our coding we have started from the index page then we moved to direct registration page and here we have defined the one input value for name and two buttons one to go back out the exit flow and one to go to the confirmation page then we go to confirmation page here we have defined further two button it says you want to go further for complete the procedure and print and one says go back to the registration page if you had made any errors and finally we are here with the done page which is for the printing it says thank you mr you have reserved your seat so we will check with our output now now let's run this so here is our output it simply says in flow no it's not in flow false so we will press the button proceed now what it says in flow yes true let's enter the name i will put my name ankit shende next proceed to confirmation yes of course it will see it's in flow it says confirm your booking mr ankit shende next proceed it says thank you reserve your seat has been reserved or if you want to go back to the exit the flow that is home so it comes back to the index page thank you for this session please subscribe we will be further dissecting our java ee7 in very simple and effective way thank you